Well, hello and welcome to the BetMonkey Show. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to show you how you can add watermax to your images on your WordPress website. Now, two questions you might have is what's a watermax and why would I need to add a watermark to my image? Well, watermarks are a way for you to claim ownership of a particular kind of image. So it basically serves as a deterrent from people. It prevents people from just being able to download and use your images without your permission, without your authorization. Now, adding a watermark is like adding your signature or your logo onto your image. So it's not necessarily going to stop people from being able to download and use your images, but it will discourage most people because once they see that your watermark is on the image, they will just rather use another image that doesn't have the watermark. So that's why it is highly recommended that you have watermarks on your images. Now, as an example of a watermark, I'm going to show you one of my test websites. This is called uh, the Snap Shooter, and it's basically a photo gallery built with WordPress. If I clicked on any of the images right now, you can see over here in the top right hand corner, you can see we have Snap Shooter and you have the camera. So this right here is the watermark for this particular image. And you can see the watermark is everywhere. It's on every single image. So anyone who comes into this website right now and sees this very nice image is like, oh, wow, this I really want to use this image. Once they see the watermark right there, they might be discouraged and be like, eh, I'll just go to Google and search for another image. So if you want to stop people from being able to illegally uh, use your images, adding watermarks is a great way to go about it. And by the way, if you're interested in learning how to build this particular website right here, which is a photo gallery with WordPress, I do have a course that teaches you how to build this from scratch. It's available on Skillshare. It's also available on Udemy. It's available on my private platform as well. So if you're interested in learning how to build this exact kind of photo gallery with WordPress, check the links in the description box below. You will find all the necessary information there are for you. But let's move on. We're going to make use of a plugin known as the Easy Watermark by Bracket Space. This is the plugin we're going to use to add watermarks to our media library. So this is my website right here called The Movie Characters, another one of my sample websites. And as you can tell, I'm a huge, huge, huge movie buff. I love movies. I watch movies every single day. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add the watermark images to Michael Myers, to Captain America, uh, to, of course, Batman and every other uh, image in this website. So I have already gone ahead to download. I've in also installed and I've activated the Easy Watermark plugin. So when you do the same, all you have to do is to come down here to your settings and you should see Easy Watermark down there. Click in there. All right, so you're going to see this about allowing the developers to monitor how you're using the plugin. Yada, yada. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Skip this. All right. So in here, you have the general settings. The first one says add watermark when uploading images. So if you want the plugin to be able to add uh, the watermark automatically when you upload new images, you want to keep that checked. You can choose the kinds of uh, image types that you want to apply the watermark to. Now you've got the backup, which says save original images to allow to restore them after watermark was applied. This is very, very important. All right. Because Whenever you apply watermark and you, for some reason, want to remove the watermark, the plugin is going to make use of the original image to be able to make that uh, restoration, all right? So you could choose not to back up the images. This will save you space on your server, but only do that if you have the backups elsewhere. If you have the backups on your USB drive and your desktop, then fine. You may not need to use uh, the backup option in here, but in my recommendation. I think it's best you go with the backup because it's just so much more convenient to have the plugin, have the backup, and you can just restore the images back to its original form with the click of a button. All right. Image sizes as well. What kinds of sizes would you like to apply the watermark to? I'll just go with the medium, large, and full size. Then watermark type, image plus text, or just text, or just image. I'm going to go with just the image. And then the JPEG quality, 75, that's okay. In here, you've got the user, user roles. Um, would you like an author or an editor to be able to apply watermarks? I'm just going to go with allow. You can, of course, uh, change this to your uh, whatever suits your particular kind of website. 
And then finally, you've got the select what post type attachments should be automatically watermarked. You've got the posts, uh, the pages, unattached images. I'm just going to go with the default. I'll save my changes. And since we've chosen the image as a watermark type, I'm going to jump down here to image. And now in here, I'm going to select the image I want to use. It's in my media library. And I have a really awesome image for this. And it's right here. It's kind of like the film. You can see it's 80 by 80. And it's also a ping. You typically want to go with images that are of a ping format that have a transparent background. It just makes the watermark look more professional. So I'm going to go ahead and set this as the watermark image. All right. Awesome. So now the alignment, where would you like to apply the watermark? What position? I'm going to go with the uh, bottom right hand corner. Of course, you can go with the center. You can go with the left top corner, whatever you like. Now the scaling mode, you've got various options, but in my opinion and in my experience, I think the scaling mode set to none is usually the way to go. This way, the plugin will simply use the actual size of your watermark. In this case, it's 80 by 80. It's quite small. So I'll just go with none. Then you've got the option here to scale to smaller. And it says, if this is checked, watermark will be scaled only for images smaller than the watermark image. This can be useful. So I'll just go ahead and hit the checkbox in some interesting uh, situations. And then the scale is 100%. Mm, that's fine. Now, image offset. I typically like my watermarks to be as close as possible to the edges of wherever it's positioned in. So 100 by 100 is a bit too much. I'm just going to go with 1 by 1. All right. So this will ensure that the watermark is just right there on the edge at the bottom right hand corner of the image. And then the opacity, 100%. I like that as it is. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Okay, awesome. Now, if you chose text and you click on text in here, you kind of have similar options. You just type in the text that you want. You can change the text color, the text size, the text angle. You choose the alignment and so on. But anyway, we've chosen a watermark. Let's now go ahead and apply the watermark to our images. All right, so the big question right now is how do we apply the watermark to our images, right? So if you go to your media, on the media, you will see easy watermark. You can click in there. And what you're going to have here is you'll have two options. You can apply the watermark in bulk, or you can simply restore the images back to their original uh, style after you've, you've applied the watermark. So this, these are two basically kinds of um, bulk actions. Before you apply the watermark in bulk, though, I would recommend that you apply the watermark to one image first just to see how it looks like. And then if you're satisfied, you can apply the watermark to all your images uh, using the bulk tool. So how would we apply the watermark to an individual image? Well, I'm going to go to the library and now in here to apply the watermark to an individual image, you want to go with the least view, not the grid, go with the list view. So in here, as an example, right now, we're going to apply the watermark to Michael Myers. So you can see we have the option in here, add watermark. You can also add watermark here as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and say add watermark. All right, cool. Okay, let's go to the front end. And I'm going to click in here. This is the Michael Myers post. You can see that the watermark still isn't here. And that's because this particular image is the featured image of this post. So one small bummer with this plugin is that it's not going to apply the watermark to your featured images. It will apply the watermark to the images in your uh, post content though, which is good. So just to show you that it actually works, I'm going to come in here and click on edit post. And now in here, let's just go ahead and add media. And I'm going to go to my media library. Let's add the Michael Myers. Let's go with the uh, large size. Insert into post. Let's go ahead and update the post. And now let's view the post. Let's come down here. Oh, let me refresh this page. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. So where is our image? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. And there you go. So right now you can see we now have the watermark displayed right there at the bottom right hand corner for our image. One thing to point out very quickly though, is that if I come back, come back in here and edit the post, all right. And uh, if I come in here, click on edit, 
and let's go with the medium size let's update i'm going to go over here right now and i'm going to update the post and now let's view the post let's come back down here now you can see that the image is now the medium size but you can see that the watermark is now bigger because in comparison to the medium size of the uh, Halloween or the Michael Myers image, it now looks a lot bigger, right? So one way how you can counter this is to actually use really small sizes for your watermarks. This is 80 pixels by 80 pixels, which is actually kind of big. What you really want to do is set a watermark size of, let's say, 15 pixels by 15 pixels. That's ideally the kind of size you want to go with your watermark. It should be very small, but should be visible enough to tell that there is indeed a watermark on the image, if that makes sense. So that's one way how you can counter this. I only went with the 80 pixels by 80 pixels because I wanted you to see that the uh, watermark actually works. It's right there. So that's how you can apply your watermarks. Let's go ahead now and apply the watermark in bulk. So I'm going to go to media, click on easy watermark. Let's go ahead now and stat the bulk edition. Do you want to proceed? Yes, we would like to proceed. So we've got 57 images and hopefully this will not take too long. Yep, it's not taking too long, thankfully. And uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. all right, so 57 of 57 images have been watermarked. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's see if uh, the watermark has been added to the images. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Ben Affleck is Batman. So let's see. Uh, okay, there you go. We have the watermark on the Joker image, the one on Ben Affleck as well. You can see right there. It's cool. Uh, let's see James Bond returns inspector. And uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> this is actually me as James Bond. I think if I remember correctly, someone on Fiverr did this uh, for me. But anyway, uh, you can see we do have the watermark right there. So you can see that it actually works. The watermarks have been applied. Let's now try to reverse the process, go back to uh, media, and then on the Easy Watermark, we're going to go ahead and restore all the original images back, which means we're going to remove uh, the watermark. So let's uh, wait for a few seconds. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, be sure uh, to put them in the comments section below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions about adding watermarks and removing them. Okay, we're almost there, almost there, and complete awesome. Now let's go back to our site and let's check out the uh, Halloween post. Okay, so it's still there. Let's do a hard refresh. And there you go. So the icon is no longer there. The watermark has been removed. Let's go to Ben Affleck is Batman. And again, let's refresh the page. You know, you really want to refresh. Okay, and there you go. The watermarks have been removed. Now, by the way, if your water watermarks are not been removed or you're having some difficulty, make sure that caching is disabled. Caching is can be awesome, but it can also be very annoying, especially when you're making changes to your website. So make sure caching is turned off, both from your web servers and and also from your uh, browsers and as well, make sure caching is turned off. So that's basically how you would create watermax, apply the watermax, and then remove the watermax if you wanted to by making use of the easy watermax plugin. It's been a pleasure teaching you this tutorial. If you have any questions, like I said earlier, put them in the comment section below. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I upload tutorials as much as I can on the YouTube channel. Check the links below for more information about my build a photo gallery uh, with website uh, with wordpress if you're interested my name is alex it's been a pleasure and i will see you next time bye bye